Hello and welcome back to the channel. My name is Mahesh Karia. You're watching me on YouTube now and in this session I'm going to take you through the latest update from Dino that is 1.33 and if you click here so you will be greeted with this beautiful page where you can clearly see it's a built-in KV database just introduced. Uh, which is a kind of global database and this is really very really super cool this is currently unstable so you can use this hyphen hyphen unstable uh, to use this kv database so I'll, i'm gonna try this out once and if you click here on uh, this web page you can whitelist for now so just click here and uh, you just need to agree uh, the terms and condition and join the whitelist to use that uh, so for the for now i'm going to update uh, and check that which dino version that i have by doing dino hyphen v and dino hyphen fm version let's suppose so i have a dino 1.3 one so i'll simply hit dino upgrade and uh, apart from that there are further new things that you can go through and which is a kind of uh, uh, this uh, dino.json configurations where you have this lint file exclude and file uh, like fmt options uh, which is now available uh, at the top level of the respective sections and apart from that there are fewer permission checks for the dynamic imports which is also super cool and uh, improvements this is a minor not, nothing much and uh, this crypto uh, based npm node compatibility is getting improved day by day uh, so they're actually planning for dino 2 and uh, uh, in upcoming few months we are expecting that there will be a dino 2 so this is kind of uh, basic uh, kind of update not a major one but definitely uh, the this one the global db is the major update so we'll go with that let's see if uh, this is this is going to take time i'm not sure this is just 31.72 mb and uh, it's going to take a while not sure why uh, so let's uh, let me pause this video till then okay so dino is upgraded successfully uh, now let me check version again so yeah i have 1.33.1 .1. so yeah we are good to go now i'm gonna create a index.ts or js or uh, whatever you prefer and i'm gonna go to doc again uh, where i have this uh doc where i'm gonna open this official doc if you can just simply click here on dino kv once again and uh, you can uh, run this locally if you want click here okay and you will be greeted with this page where i'm going to grab this code where uh, you can clearly see it's very simple like a redis uh, but this you can use it uh, globally as well so uh, there are secondary index support and lots of other things and pretty much easy to use like get and set methods are there only uh, to get key and value so open kv means key value open key value kind of uh, and this is built in you don't need to import anything uh, seems like so let me run this thing dino run index dot js hyphen a okay so now we need to hit this hyphen hyphen unstable uh, command in order to run this thing uh, so this flag will allow us to uh, use beta until and unless we get the support for it okay so uh, this is uh, unstable should be here uh, uh, before index.js so let me use unstable here and yeah uh, so we are good to go so uh, you got this users ls okay so this is uh, your key uh, as you can see here so this is uh, inside users you can have allies inside allies you can have something else so like the way you can set your uh, key like this okay and this is the value that we are going to set inside this key so it can be anything let me try something here okay and if i try this again so now you have this users lies and we can't see this not sure why let me try this with uh, this kit here as well okay so i just need to paste this here once again do i have 
here as well and here as well let me try this again so yeah this is my key okay like user slash ally slash sum so this is uh, if you want to delete something any jwt tokens if you are trying to store somewhere any security key to authenticate so uh, you don't need redis that's what i can feel for now you can store uh, your state okay uh, it's very useful to manage state in a background if you are using jsx or react so might be it is useful for them uh, which is really very really super cool and of course uh, there might be some other use cases that you can explore from here once you have this uh, uh, like uh, you have this doc so you can just explore this there are just three things open uh, get set and delete okay and you can directly access by result dot key like this and result dot value like this and this is version stamp uh, this is also uh, important if you are dealing with the versions so yeah apart from that you just need to create interfaces of user let's suppose name email password and you can use like a real uh, database uh, it is also possible but i don't see the real life use case of uh, storing large database here uh, let's see how it goes for now it's in beta till then you can uh, enjoy this talk official dog which is which is uh, seems like okay to me because there are normal string number begin and begin support is also very important uh, sometimes we don't get begin support usually for large integers like ethereum tokens of your ethereum coins and uh, that use case would be apply in bigit okay this is also very important uh, boolean of course two or false and uh, uh, unit 8 array okay also for byte ordering of the array you can use this so this these are the basic data types apart from that okay and second indexes you can explore okay uh, it supports your acid properties uh, so like the way uh, you can create the interfaces uh, and number of interfaces you want you can have a relationship easily uh, manageable over here as well you can use your transactions database transactions is another very important uh, thing if something goes wrong while uh, like if you are transferring amount from one account to another account and if you feel that something got wrong because of network issue or might be something else else you can uh, easily like revert your all the amount in respective accounts so this is uh, super cool and this should be there so not sure like if how we can persist the data i can't see here anything regarding persist uh, persisting the data so uh, try this uh, we'll see once we have this uh, complete version uh, okay out of beta and once it is stable then only we can uh, uh, see how it will go okay for now just enjoy this and just go with the other functionalities okay so uh, for now this is all about dino 1.33 okay and uh, we are not gonna explore the rest of the things uh, because we don't have a major updates so yeah i guess this is it and i can stop video here and thank you so much all of you guys for being with me supporting me all the time it's been a pleasure to be here please let me know inside comment box what you want from my side definitely i'll make it for you and don't forget to subscribe my channel if you haven't already and smash that like button if you enjoyed so see you soon in the next video till then bye bye